Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in this video I'm going to walk you through how the agent builder handles the access and permissions of those uploaded files. And if you're not really sure about what I mean by agent builder, go watch this video that I just released and its link is there in the description below. All right, so when I say access, I'm going to walk you through what that actually means based on your license, specifically the N365 Copilot versus the pay as you go. And also for the permissions, once you've been provided access to the agent, what all can the end users do with those files? I'll walk you through that as well. So as you can see, this video is very important, not just for the agent builders and the end users, but also for the technology department, the management department, the security department, pretty much the entire information technology in your company. So stick around. This is very, very important. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. Now throughout this video, you will hear me talk about this comparison between the M365 Copilot license and the PayG. The PayG stands for pay as you go. And therefore, I want to start off this video by actually showing you a side by side comparison, at least in my scenario of the two users. So what you see on this side is actually me, Daniel Christian. And when I go to Office 365 Admin Center and take a look at my account, specifically under licenses and apps, uh, if I actually just go ahead and minimize this and scroll over here, these are all the accesses I have, specifically all the licenses that I have. And one of them right over here is Microsoft 365 Copilot. When I select it, you can see I have got all of these features turned on. The big takeaway from this side is that I actually have a Microsoft 365 Copilot user license. Now, on the other side, we have this user named Rosanna Christian. And when I go and take a look at her licenses, again, we're going down over here, expanding this one, and we can see all the licenses. This is it. The user has Office 365 E3 license and the Power Automate. But I've also given her pay-as-you-go option. So let me just quickly show you that as well. Uh, I'll come in over here on the left side. Under the Copilot, when I go to Billing and Usage, in the pay-as-you-go service, I can go and see these are the options and I have this security group. So when I go and select the security group, do a control C, come back over here and let's take a look at that on the portal side, Azure portal, going to Microsoft Enter ID, taking a look at my groups, putting that group that I just copied over, selecting that one. In the members, you will see Rosanna Christian. So you see this understanding over here? Once again, recap. Daniel Christian, which is me, I actually have the Microsoft 365 Copilot license, a full-blown license. Rosanna on the other side only has her Microsoft 365 Enterprise license, but she's also on the pay-as-you-go model, again for Microsoft 365 Copilot. So now that you understand the license and its differences between the two users, let's go and take a look at these four unique differences between the two licenses. All right, so the first difference is that the PayG users cannot upload files for the agent that they are building. And let me walk you through that scenario, all right? So once again, just to recap, here is Rosanna. Rosanna is on the PayG license model. Now, Rosanna can come over here and build an agent. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna click on create an agent. We come over here on the studio side. I'm gonna go directly to configure um, and the agent name, I'm gonna change that to sharing PayG agent. And for the description, I'm just gonna put this verbiage over here, all right? Now, if I scroll down, you see in the knowledge section, I have the options to go and put in URLs. I can go and put in my public URLs over here as well. But you see something missing? Like I don't see that upload and that cloud icon over here. And if you're not sure, let me immediately switch over to Daniel's account. And over here, this is one of the agents that he has built, but I have here, upload from device. This option is completely missing for the user who is doing the pay-as-you-go model. And believe it or not, there's actually a Microsoft documentation which even tells you about that. Because just again, as a recap, this upload document that you use actually puts it into a SharePoint container. And I've done a whole separate video on that as well. If you're interested, I've put the link to that in the description below, go check it out. But here's the documentation. It specifically says that if you're configured with a pay-as-you-go plan in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, which I showed you before, it says you might not have access to this knowledge source. And specifically, the knowledge source is talking about is for the files that you can upload, which go directly to the content in the agent. 
that's the knowledge source it is talking about. So this information is accurate. And I just showed you that over here, this user who's on the pay G model doesn't have the option to go and upload it. So that is the first big difference. The second difference is kind of the flip side of the first one. That is, if I am a user with Microsoft 365 Copilot license, and I have gone ahead and uploaded documents to my agent, then guess what? You can actually share this agent with the PG user, and the PG user can just go ahead and use it. I know it's a little confusing because the PG user cannot go ahead and upload the documents to the container, but he or she can absolutely go ahead and use an agent if the document or the knowledge is in the container. So let me show you this example, all right? This is me. I have a full Microsoft 365 Copilot license. I've gone ahead and built this agent, and I've even gone ahead and uploaded these documents, which are being shared in the container. What I'm going to do is come over here on the share side. Right now, it is only to me. I'm going to come over here and do the search users in your organization, and I'm going to look for Rosanna. IntelliSense went and grabbed it here, so I'm going to select it. I am going to click on save, all right? The sharing is in process. We are now sharing this agent with Rosanna. I'll go and select this, do copy, click on close, and I click on the share once again, just to confirm that. So I'll grab that link one more time. I'm gonna cancel off from here. I'm gonna go now into the other access, all right? We've got Rosanna, open up another tab. I'm gonna paste it over here and click on enter. Comes back again to the Microsoft 365 Cloud. This pop-up comes over here, and now I see this add agent option, all right? That is the exact same agent that I just showed you on my tenant side, all right? Just to make sure. Yep, that's the one coming back over here, and I'm gonna go and click on add. Now, while this is adding, I can share a little tip with you. If for some reason you are not getting the option to go ahead and get this agent shared, here's what you can try. The M365 Copilot user, go ahead and build just a simple agent, but don't upload the files over there. Let the M365 Copilot user's agent be shared with the Pagey agent, let all of these permissions be handled, then the N365 Copilot user can go ahead and upload the knowledge, publish it, and guess what? The Pagey users can use it as well. This is a workaround that you can do if for some reason you are not able to see the Pagey users have access, all right? Just a little tip. All right, so the ad is complete because I can see the agent over here, and all in all, everything works on this side because the access came in. All in all, it seems to work, but I'll just go ahead and post this little prompt over here, click on enter. It is going ahead and checking with the knowledge. It's grabbing all this information, and I can see these links over here. So when I select it, that is where it's working. It's actually pulling it in from the knowledge which was uploaded to the container. This is proof that the page user is actually able to access as a end user to the container. So that was the second feature. Third feature is that sharing the agent shares the uploaded file. And this is where I see people are right smack in between because one set of people will say, Daniel, I kind of assumed that would happen. I mean, how would the agent actually share the information? But then there's another set of people who actually say, no, I wasn't expecting this to happen because I thought that when a document is uploaded, there should be some other way based on service principle or some service account where only the agent has access to the knowledge, extracts the information, and just shares that with the end user. So I can see the feedback I get from both sides because both of them are valid. But let me at least demonstrate that to you. So this is the agent that you and I just built and it has two files uploaded. I also went and updated such that in the share, nobody else has access to this agent. So first, let's make sure that at least we already have direct access to this knowledge. So I come over here on this Word document, I right click and I copy the link address, I open up another tab, paste it over here, click on enter, and it directly takes me to this Word document. And if you see this URL, it says my profile name, the SharePoint.com and content storage. That tells me it is on the container, and at least I have access to this. In fact, if you go to the top right and I click on the drop down, me as the maker of this agent in Agent Builder has editing access to this as well. And this is also an important thing to see that basically there are just two options there is editing, and then there is a type of reviewing slash viewing. All right, that's over here. Now I've grabbed this link. I'm going to go now to this other user because here is the other user because this user doesn't have access to the agent yet. So I'm open up another tab, paste that exact link, click enter, and then uh, it says access denied. Rosanna Christian does not have permission to access this resource. That's a very good access denied message that we are seeing in this scenario. But you know what? It kind of made my wheels start turning a little bit. Back to the agent maker, right? We switch over here. 
this user has this edit level access. So can I go ahead and share this knowledge directly at the document level when I have not even shared the agent yet? I know that's weird, but that's exactly how my brain works. So let's test it. I'm gonna come over here on the SharePoint. I'm gonna come over here on the share. I'm gonna click on share, all right? I'm gonna do that. And over here it tells, do that. And immediately it tells me sharing is limited on this item. You can only copy links for people who have existing access and you cannot invite anyone new. Well, let me even try that, all right? I'm just gonna come over here and search for Rosanna Christian. IntelliSense comes in. Right over here, I've got this option for can view, which is what is selected. I can click on the copy link. Let's go and see if this is actually saved, all right? If I X out over here, come back again to the sharing, go to the share site, I don't see the user over here come back over here, select the manage access. I only see these two groups, that's it. Like these are the ones I was talking about, readers and writers. But I've got the link, let's go and take a look over here. Back on this side, let me close off this tab. Again, the user is Rosanna, selected that link, hit enter, it says access denied. Again, this is a very good access denied. And this is proof that yes, the agent builder has direct access to the knowledge, but they cannot share only the knowledge from the back end. It has to go through the agent. And that's great, but let me also prove that to you. So I'm gonna X out of this one over here. This is the agent. So I'm gonna now come and share the agent, all right? So I'm clicking on share, go to specific users in the organization, search for Rosanna over here. IntelliSense came in, clicked on that, clicking on save. The sharing is getting processed. Once that is completed, we got this link, which is perfect thing which is perfect. Actually, the one I want is directly of this knowledge. So I'll come over here, right click again, copy that link address, switch over to the other user, all right? We had this access denied before. I'll X out of this one, come over here, paste it, hit enter. And now it seems like it's loading. Very good, it has loaded. So we've just proved that the knowledge access can only come from the agent level. And just to be on the safe side, on the top right, I see that share option. When I select it, this is again the same message. So Sharing is limited on this item. You can only copy links for people who have existing access and you cannot, you cannot invite anyone new. And it's just showing you basically what all you have access to. I am so happy that this is how the backend permissions work. And I just showed you both the third and the fourth feature. The third one being is that when you share an agent, you also go ahead and share the knowledge files. And the fourth one being is that you absolutely cannot edit or reshare the documents directly from the knowledge level. All the sharing happens only on the agent side. So I do hope that this gives you a little peace of mind, specifically the sharing of the knowledge and its permissions or access is handled at the agent level. You simply cannot directly go to the knowledge in the backend, which is on the SharePoint container, and just reshare that again and again, and that just goes rogue or viral. Agent Builder absolutely does not allow that. And as always, Keep using Agent Builder. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.